Hello everyone, this is Xaxaman here, and this is a Doom Builder tutorial on how to get started with Doom Building. Now this tutorial is the first in a line of many where we'll explain how to create different uh, objectives like making doors, how to uh, make lifts and all that sort of thing. And uh, this is of course the first episode of that. So now we'll need three things if you want to start making your own Doom maps. Of course Doom is the 1990s first person shooter. Uh, and you can make your own maps within this by uh, downloading Doom Builder. So there's three things you'll need to start making your own maps. You'll need Doom Builder, of course, and Doom Builder 2 is the one we'll be using for this tutorial. I uh, recommend just downloading straight from their site. Of course, going to downloads, you can uh, get some other helpful sort of plugins and screenshots and shows you what it's like. And this has been around for at least four or so years, even longer, I think ever since probably uh, early 2000s. So once you need uh, have that, you install that. It's just a executable file. Download that and install it. Uh, the WAD file is the file that contains all the monsters, the textures, and all those sort of things that are within the game. Uh, once you do that, you can just find a website with any, or you can get your own copy that you may have owned from Doom. If you go into the actual Steam files, for example, if you're on Steam, uh, you can find it within there, and you just use that as your texture and all that, because that's what you'll need to power what you create. And then you need ZDoom or GZDoom, in this case we're using ZDoom for uh, the launcher. And of course it's for Macintosh and Windows and I think there's Linux support of course. So once you have that, that's an installer as well. Once you have those you'll uh, be set to go and we'll go to Doom Builder here. So we're going to start off a new map. Of course a little button up here. Now your game f configuration for this tutorial is all set in ZDoom, Doom in hex and format. Just check him still going, yep. Map name, of course, corresponds to what, say I'm doing Doom 2, there's 32 or 30 so levels like that. Uh, once you go past that, it won't use the music from the game, so that's the setup. You can, of course, add in your own custom WAD file. Um, as the, if you list at the top, it will take, say, if you've made custom music for each level, you can add it in there. And uh, this is a old WAD file I added in as a continuous one, but I moved the and you can make presets like that can pop up, but because I've moved the file location, won't recognize it, and that's all going to error screen once we pop in. So, what WAD files is the file resource we need to add. So I've already got it organized here from last time. We'll go Doom 2, and then once we click OK, it's going to pop up with an error, um, and we'll just clear that and close. Now, once you start off, you'll be here in a grid by 32 by 32. You can change it by down here. You can make it as big as you want or small as you want. You can customize it, of course, and. Uh, you can zoom in sort of by here, or you can use your mouse uh, scroll or wheel. Um, okay, so once we've done that, we'll eventually get back to Open Script Editor, which is obviously programming, and then uh, insert prefab from file. That's uh, another sort of thing we don't need to worry about right now. Once you start off, you of course you have hotkeys on your keyboard, V for vertices. You can just insert one of these if you just uh, click. If you just right click on that, you just right click again. There's a vertice. If you want to make a room, we'll go into lines mode and we'll make a room. Let's make it symmetrical. We did the last time I tried to attempt to create this. Uh, 320 by three, uh, 320. And that's just a cube shape now. And then we go into, uh, so the line steps mode, you right click, you can go into edit line. So may maybe you want to make an invisible wall that's impossible though. You can add in the textures by doing this. If you want to make an invisible wall that you can go past, that's why you need a back texture, etc. And we'll get into that other times. Then you'll have a sectors mode, which is you select the actual sector. So the a, a box there is the sector. You can right click, then you change following floor and ceiling textures, effects and brightness and identification. So uh, you'll find this, the uh, tag, new tag thing, the identification there, um, is for if you want to create, say, a door switch at the end, not close to it, for example, and then I'll open the door by switching that, by like clicking. So that's just an example of that. So once we've done that, we'll cancel that. Okay. So once we've done that, we'll go to brightness mode, of course. So you, um, we'll show that after we've gone into uh, visual mode. So vi brightness mode, of course, you can uh, make things brighter. So I'm going to visual mode right now. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So visual mode is the actual visual sort of representation of uh, the map. I should have gone to uh, things mode. But this is what you'll see within the game when you want to preview how things look. So in visual mode, you control by ESDF. It's, a bit, it's just right next to WASD keys, 
and you can raise the ceiling from here. You can do it. You don't have to do it from the menus, and you can sort of lower. You can change, right click, and change textures, textures right from there, right from the start. So once you've done that, um, you can go out just by clicking W again. Now things mode is where you add objects like a monster. So make a player start here. This is where you select each player. If you're playing, of course, just single player map, doesn't matter about all the other players. But if you're doing a deathmatch or whatever map, you can do that. Um, identification, of course, tags are there again for uh, making action. So if you pick up a weapon, you can make a monster spawn, for example. And uh, so we'll add in that. You can make the uh, angle and the coordination by there. We'll add in a monster just for the test. So you can add in all these types of monsters, and that's what you can get around to. And all the different sort of uh, items turn around. So let's do that. That's what you can see. So if you go to visual mode, you can see those items in 2D form. If you're playing with Risen 3D, which is a mod to make everything 3D, it will uh, matter which way you obviously make things face, especially all the weapons, like things that can't only have a 2D sprite. Okay, so once you've done that, that's the basic of it. And that, and of course, brightness mode, if you go in here, B, and you can just put up, um, if you go to brightness mode, you click B within being in visual mode, it just makes everything bright. So you've got a pitch dark room, you don't want to have to bother to change the darkness, just press B, B, can't speak today, and all will uh, change to the brightest setting possible. So here, of course, you'll have edit uh, section mode, which you can just edit all, uh, all the lines, etc. from there. Then you can find replace mode, which is if you are... Uh, have anything that doesn't have a replacement or needs to have something you can check there and of course a map analyst so if anything there's certain ways like if I made this wall here because see how there's a, a line around the outside that's white if I made this impassable and I tried to uh, launch that wouldn't work and I think this should find that so no errors occur it, it's more the script sort of side of things so that's where you'll need to check that now snap to grid of course if you want to build lines without a grid on you can just do that and there's you know making lines but I wouldn't recommend it, of course, because it's sloppy and it just unless that's why you change down the grid size. But of course, if you're trying to make a sort of messy area, that's a good idea. And then merge geometry is where you can merge sort of items together. Now, of course, this is a test button, and of course, you can test by each difficulty if you're planning to, and then you can make a copy and do it. There's a copy and paste button up there. Now, line line curve mode is where you select generally. Um, Now the way the way you make curve lines is by going clicking on the line you want to make curve, shift C, and then you can flip, and that, and you can make curve and make it circular curve, or you can make um, a more broken curve. Now if you add in more vertices, as you can see, it sort of makes it more circle-y, if you want, if that's a word, just more circular. That's the word, and then you can see there's a lot of lines in between though. So um, that's the downside. But you can see the texture sort of goes in a line, uh, curved manner, so that's that's the way you create curved lines. So that's that's the hot bar up there, and of course uh, you'll need map options, you can change here, uh, you can add resources when you need to, and that, there's someone currently messaging me. So you, you can uh, obviously as well set up the grid just from there, you can do it down the bottom, and of course you can save and uh, do the rest of that. Now the more important things you'll need to know from uh, up here is not things configure, where is it? So there, there of course all the mode buttons you can see up there's the hotkeys for it on the side. So learn those, they're helpful to know. You'll need to know preferences as well if you want to change sort of how things work in your in your options and menus just uh, between the interface and all that. But you'll need to also know uh, game configuration, which is where you can change how uh, what game configuration is in, because you can see all these different ones there. The node builder, which is just leave that as it is. Um, you can put preset in testing. Now this is where you'll need to run the application for it. As you can tell, I've got different Z Doom builders, and that's the uh, Z Doom executable f uh, files, and you'll need the Z Doom of your choice uh, from there. And once you do that, that's how you can um, customize it there. And you can add in more sort of files, add in all these sort of things around here. These are just the different modes you can enable or disable. So once you've done that, that's, I would say, the basics of Doom Builder. There'll be more tutorials soon. The, the next tutorial I'll be making will be Doom um, building doors within Doom Builder. 
and then we'll have a more advanced version of it. So, hopefully this was helpful in how to basically open and start Doom Builder. And that's, uh, hopefully was helpful. There'll be more, as I said. Thanks for watching. This is Agzaman here. Please check out the playlist that will be listed in the description below for all the Doom Builder tutorials. These will be coming out, if you're watching them most recently, in a steady pace. They won't come out at once. So, thanks for watching. This is Agzaman, and I'm out.